leafy, chewy, juicy, crunchy, saucy. These are the components we're going to use to celebrate our salad nights. Hi everyone, it's Carrie. Yay Leftovers, episode seven from the Bitman Project. Let's start by talking about the base. I've got mescaloon here and some coleslaw, but you could also use cooked, veg lightly cooked vegetables or chopped hearty greens like kale. Hello, salt and pepper, we'll get to you in a minute. Uh, then you want something kind of hefty, chewy, so whatever you're gonna sink your teeth into. Doesn't have to be meaty, could be plant-based. Uh, you'll see all, you see a bunch of options here, including tin fish, uh, thinly sliced leftover steak, and roasted deliquata squash I dragged out of the freezer. Then juiciness. You definitely want something that bursts in your mouth. So that's usually tomatoes, but don't forget to consider fruit like watermelon, peaches, or strawberries, even cucumber. Whoa, taking a little spin there. Okay, and then it's crunchy time. Croutons or breadcrumbs are pretty obvious, but I also like a lot of raw or lightly cooked vegetables. Those are delicious steamed snap peas up there or chopped crudite. You're gonna bring it all together with a dressing, of course. This is the herb vinaigrette that follows on the website, um, on the Bitman Project, but there's also some other options. And then, uh, of course, you could just have oil and vinegar or oil and lemon juice out. And then we're gonna fill the bowl. You know, use your own proportions. If you're offering this for a salad bar for a serve a bunch of people or your family, then just have a bowl out and let everybody assemble or a stack of plates because they fall into two camps, I find. There are the people who like this and there's that's very lovely and they can just build that on the plate. Or a lot of people are like me and like everything evenly coated before it goes on the plate so I don't fling it all over the table while I'm trying to toss it. So uh, you can have a bowl out and let people sauce and toss and then transfer it to their plate. Why not? You're gonna get a picture of it tossed. Doesn't really look that different, does it? There you go. Okay, so don't forget to add the salt and pepper. I don't put pepper in the dressing very often uh, because it's, I don't know, I like it as fresh at the last minute, but that may just be me. Thank you, everybody. Be sure to check out the recipes that follow and the links. 